Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. Today I'm showing you another new design that I have for my press online and this is a pink paisley bandana set that I have created with AB rhinestones as well for my press online DYS nails. I've had a few messages from people asking if I am shipping to the US and I wanted to let you guys know that I am shipping to the US so you can order from me. I wanted to show you guys this nail set that I made for myself which is available for order. You'll notice how well that the nails fit on me and that's because I use my sample kit which is available for order. You can alternatively use my measuring guide which you can find on my Instagram at DYSNailsLDN. I also wanted to let you guys know that it is possible to customize your length. We have long, medium shown here and short lengths all available. So don't worry if you think that the nails are too long, you'll have the length that you need. So I've prepped the nails already by filing and buffing them down. And um, because this is a practice set, I'm not putting down my base coat. So I'm just going straight in with my color. So I've got this really nice pink color that I'm using here. And so I'm putting this on the thumb, the index and the ring finger. And then you'll see me in the next clip i've got um i forgot what the color was i think it's french vanilla and i'm going to shear it out with some top coat um because i wanted it to have like kind of like a see-through kind of look so you see me here doing that so i'm making sure that my layers are not too thick and then i'm going to cure this for 60 seconds then i'm going to repeat this step again and then cure that for another 60 seconds So I'm creating a French tip, a pink French tip on my nude nails. Um, so what I'm doing is I've got these two dots that I put on the side of the nails so that I can join them up. So I kind of like draw it as if I was doing a V tip. Um, I'm also measuring against my own nails so I can make sure that the placement is right. And then once I'm sure that like the placement is all right, I create a curve. You can't really see it too clearly just because of the colors there. But then um, once I've sorted out my outline, I then fill it in i repeat this twice so that i can make sure that it's opaque enough for the kind of look that i'm going for so i use these three designs as inspiration for the creation of this set and also this um, bandana picture that i got from the internet so here you see me creating um the looks um, I didn't do one nail at a time, I actually did multiple nails because I had to cure in between each different design. So for example here, I'm doing a outline for the outline of the bandana. So I'm doing this in black. You can see me there, I messed up a little bit and I did clean it up, which is the best thing about gel because it doesn't dry automatically. So I did the outline there and then I'm going to be filling this in. I'm looking at my picture for reference because otherwise I would not know what I was doing. So yeah, there's not really much I can really explain. I'm just going to show you guys what I was doing and then we'll get to the end. So here is one of the nails that I've finished. So I'm obviously starting with the next nail here. So with a design like this, you really want to make sure that you're working slowly because then you won't mess up because it is a lot to um, clean up something. Obviously you can because it is gel, but you would prefer for it to be like perfect like first time round so i'm making sure that i'm using a really really light hand as well and i'm making sure that i keep on looking at my reference so that i can get the shaping right for each and every design that i'm doing 
So here is the set which I thought looked really really nice but I did want to add some rhinestones to it so I'm just going to cure this and then the next clip you'll see me applying rhinestones. So here I am applying the rhinestones, I always put down like a little drop of nail glue and then I pick up the rhinestone and then apply it down. Um, the smaller rhinestones are from Amazon and the big one that you see um, at the top of this particular nail I got it from eBay. Once I was done applying the rhinestones, I'm now applying my top coat and I'm making sure to avoid putting them on top of um, the rhinestones. Some rhinestones, you can put top coat on top of them and it won't dull it down. But I found some other ones, it just ends up looking really, really weird. So I was just like, let me not risk it. Um, I don't know why I didn't film the nails at the end. So I'm just going to um, include the clip that I had of the nails that I posted at the beginning. So here is the finished result and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at dys.nailsldn and thank you so much for watching my video guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!